Okay, prepare yourselves. This is gonna be a heavy one. So, have you ever had one of those weird evenings where you wonder what the universe is in, or if you're even real, or if anything even exists, or if life is entirely pointless? If you have, then <laughs> good luck with this video, it's probably going to ruin your life. So there is a scientific theory that I have been obsessed with recently called the simulation theory, which is the theory that everything, the Earth and the universe, exist inside a giant computer created by futuristic aliens and that nothing is actually real. Just give you a moment to absorb that for a second. The thing is, as weird as this sounds, this is an actual scientific theory with like logic to back it up and a thing that people actually might want to do in the future. Say they want to simulate their past ancestors that have died. Mummy. Space Lukey, can't you see I'm busy sorting out our space bank accounts with Space SBC? President Elon Musk is getting impatient. I know, it's just, I miss grandma. Okay, you can have five minutes on the simulation machine, but no more. Yeah! Grandma time. Hello! Oh, grandma! Eat your soup, you little shit. So to be able to understand how this is actually a thing that's possible, I'm going to have to take you on a journey back in time. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it, the hand fell off. Back in 1977, 50 years ago, there was something called the Cray era. Not the Clay era, the Cray era. So back then, the most powerful computer in the world could do 80 million calculations per second, which I'm sure at the time they were like, whoa, man, that's so many calculations. And obviously that 50-year-old computer is still gonna be a hell of a lot better than me at maths, but by today's standards, it's actually pretty awful. Soz Cray era. One of the main games we had back then was called Pong, where two little lines play tennis with each other, which, to be honest, is adorable. I ship right Pong with left Pong, except they can't go left and right, so they can only go up and down, so they can never get close! The ship will never sail! It's like Romeo and Juliet, but with lines rather than, you know, poisoning human beings. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. Now, fast forward to 2017. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Not again. Fast forward to 2017 and we have 3D animated games on our phone and the fastest computer in the world is called the Sunway Taehu Lite which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce properly which can do 93 quadrillion calculations per second. That is 93 with 15 zeros after it. All that history lesson was for was to convince you that in 50 years we have done quite a lot of stuff in the computery world. Quite a lot of stuff. Generally we have doubled our computing power every two years, which is called Moore's Law, and to put that into perspective, if you started out as five and a half feet tall, and you doubled your height every two years, in 46 years, you'd be the height of the earth. Which, I mean, I don't want to start body shaming you, but at that point you need to lose some weight. So 50 years ago we could simulate Pong and now we can simulate Call of Duty Then it's pretty safe to say that at some point in the distant distant future We'll be able to simulate our entire universe with like planets and stars and people and stuff And those people would be like you they'd be conscious and they do conscious people things like saying I'm conscious and kissing and doing gross human things Although they might not be human necessarily they could do gross alien kissing I don't know how aliens would kiss like with their butt. Now, if you're just sat there like, Nah, Luke, the universe is real, you're stupid, then I'm gonna hit you with some logic. So, scientists with today's computers can currently simulate atoms, which is, I mean, pretty rubbish, but also pretty impressive. Well done, science. And if you agree that those computers are gonna continue to get better, then the only options you have are these. Number one, future humans can simulate universes, but decide, All right there, lads, I have this computer here that can simulate an entire universe. Shall we do it? Nah, I can't be bothered, even though I am a scientist. Yes, I think you're right, let's not bother. Because that makes sense. And that doesn't seem very likely, does it? I mean, humans are pretty obsessed with science. Well, most of them. So, it's pretty safe to assume that if something can be done, eventually someone will do it. You only have to accidentally stumble upon Simpsons porn whilst trying to download Game of Thrones to learn that. Things can be done. Doesn't mean they should. Numero two possibility, we blow ourselves up before we achieve these things. As humans have become more and more advanced as little space monkeys, they've also become more violent, so this solution is actually possible. But for this solution to work, you also have to believe that any species ever in the universe that ever becomes intelligent will always blow itself up. 
which is really, really sad, and I don't want to believe that. It's kind of like Romeo and Juliet again, except rather than poisoning yourself, you just nuke the world. I don't think Shakespeare knew about nukes. That would definitely have changed the ending to Macbeth if he just nuked the king. <laughs> what have I done? I've nuked the king! <laughs> Actually, it'd be what hath I... What hath thou done? Thou hath nuketed the king, Geth. So if you don't want to believe that humans will just get bored and lazy, which, you know, I can relate, but, and you don't want to believe that the universe just makes everybody blow themselves up before they get too smart, then you only have one option left. And that is that it's physically possible that one day we could simulate a universe. And if that happens, you have to ask yourself, what if it's been done before? And if it's been done before, you have to ask yourself, how do I know we're not already it? It's really arrogant to think that we might be the first of anything. And so you have to, by natural extension, believe that probably, mathematically, we're probably not. So that is simulation theory, and I hope I didn't just entirely ruin your life. <laughs> if you're feeling sad, then go and eat a chocolate bar to cheer yourself up. You really have earned it. And also, it doesn't matter that it's unhealthy because you're not real anyway. Before you go, please stick around because I've decided to run a little experiment on this video, and if it works, then I might do it again in the future. I've decided to give you some power over my life by voting on which video you'd like to see next. So, if you would like next week's video to be a sciencey one, kind of like this one, then click here. And if you'd like the next video to be about me finding and reading all of the horrific fanfiction about myself, then click here. Vote! If you can't see the links, then they will also be in the description. Do-ba-do-do-do-do-do-do-ba-do-ba-do, please vote now. Do-ba-do-ba-do-do-ba-do. Hurry up and vote. Hurry up and vote, you shit. Goodbye.